Thanks for being with us everyone. Welcome back to the homestead. Glad you are here. Today we've got a good video for you. We're going to show you how to check for good glow plugs for your diesel engine. So stick with us. Okay, we're going to show you where the glow plugs are located on these uh, Mitsubishi 1.4 liter diesels. Now they're located in similar places on most diesel engines uh, for tractors. Uh, most diesel engines are three cylinders for this size tractor. This one happens to be a four, so it's made in the year 2000. We're going to show you how they're connected and we are going to remove them and show you uh, how to test to see if you have a good glow plug. All right, I'm looking from the top right now, and as you can see, here's the, uh, uh, the valve cover. Right next to it, we've got these little, here are the glow plugs right here. Here's the f number one, and this is connected uh, to our electrical system here. And it has a very tiny nut right here holding on our positive lead. It's connected by this um, connection, I call it a rod, but it's actually a bar. It's a flat piece of uh, steel that is connecting all of our glow plugs together all the way to the back. You see the back one back there on this four cylinder. So we're going to remove this and show you how to test for that plug. Okay, you want to be extremely careful here because these nuts are super, super tiny. It's good to have one of these magnetic um, extendable uh, magnet tools here so you can get down if you happen to drop one of these, but be extremely uh, careful. They are super tiny. This is, this top one here is 930 seconds and it's just a, and I did drop it. Look at that. It's a tiny, tiny little nut. exactly why I use this thing. Got the nut here and there's a tiny washer on the top of it. I'll take that off, put it in my little container here. You can take off the positive lead right there. Next thing we're going to do, the next size is a 5 16 Again, super tiny. I got my little quarter inch drive socket set here. We're going to take these uh, caps off here, these nut caps that hold this connection bar on. Again, super delicate work, which is funny because this is a fairly decent sized tractor that's Pretty large, you know, it's got 36 horsepower. I'm going to take this connection bar off. I've got the second one. Sorry if it's out of frame. I'm trying to get as close as I can so you can see the best possible way to get this off here. Okay, so I'm going to take the first one out here. You see this connection bar now. You can move this out of the way. And you're going to need a 12 millimeter wrench. Now you can do, use a deep socket on these, sure, but this wrench uh, you can get in here just fine and get these off <sighs> and just break them loose. It should come right out. All right. I'm just going to unscrew this out of the head. And there's what our glow plug looks like. Okay, when checking these glow plugs, we do not want to check voltage. That's incorrect. I've seen some videos out there that do that. You want to check resistance, which is ohms. The setting is this omega setting on your digital multimeter. You will need your digital multimeter to check these properly. Set it to the lowest setting. 
here, which uh, mine goes from 2 million to 200K, 20K, 2,000, and then down to 200. You want your resistance on these to measure one or under. Now, you're going to put the black negative lead to the, uh, the nut portion. It is a good spot to put it. And then your positive lead down here on the actual glow part itself. And you're going to lose in your wiring probably 0.3. And so you can see here we've got a 0 0.6, 0 0.7 registering. Well, it's jumped up to a 1 down to a 0.3. It's, it's a little difficult right here, but you can tell this is going to be a good glow plug because we are, sorry about that, it's jumping all over the place. Once you get it stable, okay, say 0.5 and then minus 0.3, I like got 0.6, minus 0.3. We are well under 1 for our resistance. This is a good glow plug. Do that with all your glow plugs uh, and check them. And then you'll know you're, you're getting a good glow on these. If you have good glow plugs, we're going to show you uh, the next spot to uh, check. If your tractor is not starting properly and you think it's a, an electrical system or glow plug issue. Now that we've uh, checked all of our glow plugs, you know how to take them out and uh, check them. If your tractor's still not uh, starting properly, the next thing to check is the uh, glow plug regulator. Now this one here is so, so easy to get to. I know some of them are buried within the console here, but this one is, uh, is right here. You're gonna wanna uh, check to see if this thing is all right. And if it is, uh, you probably got a different issue going on. But in our case, this works fine. Our glow plugs are working good. They're all, they all checked out and we're good to go. Our tractor should start right up. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. We hope you found the information helpful about how to check for good glow plugs on your diesel engines. If you did, leave us a thumbs up. That helps the video out a lot. Also share it on social media. Once again, thank you for being here. We will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Talk to you later, bye.